Hey, everybody, I had to push a follow up on painting with brushes and Photoshop that I did last week. And I had a couple of questions that came through and uh, one of them is on me and I didn't explain things very well. So we're going to cover that plus two other techniques you might choose to do with this painting technique. Are we ready for this? Let's do it. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I had to push this through really fast. I did a video last week that uh, was very successful on how to paint using brushes in Photoshop to take an image and convert it to a, a painting. And um, I had a couple questions that came in that it wasn't working for people and that's on me. I forgot to emphasize something, so I'm gonna share that with you. Plus, I'm gonna throw in two minor bonuses here on things that you might wanna think about doing when you're doing the painting techniques. Let's dive into the program and take a look at this. Now, I'm just going to start with this image. If you hadn't seen the video yet from last week, the link will be here in the show notes. Also, if I remember right toward the end of the video, I'll put a link that should be hopefully in the upper right-hand corner, if, if I did it right, uh, that you can click on to watch it. So this image right here, I'm just going to cover a few things real fast. Number one, I already prepped the image. And again, if you don't know what prepping means, uh, that was in last week's video. So please check that out. Okay, number one, if you're getting an error that you can't do the technique with the history brush, it has to do with this. And that is on the tab over here, uh, you'll, you're going to see that this is an 8-bit image. If you have a 16-bit image, that will not work. And I should have emphasized that to you when I showed the painting technique. So if you do have a 16-bit image, here's what you do. Just go to the image drop-down menu in Photoshop, go to mode, and on the flyout menu down here, you'll see yours might be set to 16-bit. Change that to 8-bit and then save the image. And that should work for you doing the painting technique. Okay, the next thing I'm going to share with you is... The um, option that if you'd like to do something like this, and again, this is optional, and that is if you go to the uh, image drop-down menu, come down to image size, this image I have right here is close to like an 18 by 12. Resolution is 300. You don't really need to have that high of a resolution because, again, detail isn't that big of a deal when we're doing a painting technique because painting techniques really lack in detail. So with this selected here where it says resample, I might change that to 100 instead for my resolution for my pixels per inch. My dimensions are the same. I mean, if you want to change the dimensions, that's up to you. Not sure if you're going to be you know, printing this out or whatever, but I'm going to leave mine alone. Click on OK to accept that. And you'll notice that if I go back, let's make this bigger so we can visually see this. If I go back to the image drop-down menu here and I come down to image size, you'll notice that, again, this is now modified to 100 uh, as a resolution. So that's something to think about. It does give you a little bit more latitude on, say, I want things to be a little bit more abstract. Maybe push that resolution down from, like in my example, 300 down to 100 right there. Okay, now to do some painting, uh, let me share another technique that you might want to try. And again, totally, totally optional here. So I'm just going to go to my history panel here and just make sure that I choose a snapshot, this moment in time in history right there. And then I click on the icon. Again, that's in the video from last week. Um, that should The link will be in the show notes if you have not seen that video. And then uh, let me close out of that. And then I'm going to... Fill that in with white. And again, that's in the video. I just did uh, control delete. That should be, uh, I believe, command delete on the Mac. And uh, I'm going to grab one of my paint brushes. So I'm going to go over here to the history brush right here on the flyout menu, art history brush. And let me go to the drop down menu here. Make sure it's on this, my underpainting brush to start with. And if you remember that if you paint like this, if you make the brush smaller, so I'm hitting the left bracket key it will give you a little bit more detail. Okay, so the smaller the brush, the more detail that you will get. So as an example, I'm just using the uh, mouse right here. If I make this smaller, again, by using the left bracket key, you'll see that now it's just bringing in a little bit more detail, not that much because again, it's under the 
underpainting you know style brush i'm going to go back here to uh choose a different brush that will be my texture paint brush now consider doing this and this is totally optional i'm going to come over here in layers and i'm going to add a new layer and now i'm going to use this brush and just bring in a little bit more information there make that brush smaller so it brings in a little bit more detail like that and again just work it to to fit your needs based on the image Okay, and then I'm going to do this. I'm going to go back and add another new layer. And then I'm going to grab a different brush here. And let's grab my uh, soft round detail brush. And maybe, you know, again, just go in there and bring in a little bit more detail. Let's make this smaller. With the left bracket key. And this will bring in, I'm not going to do the whole thing for you. I just want to show you the concept here. I'll just bring in some, whoops, sorry about that bring in some whoa that was a goof up by me sorry that's what happens when you're going too fast steve anyhow um so let's just say you know, okay i'm done with this and think about doing something like this on this layer right here go to the drop down menu maybe play with blending modes and experiment with them like i don't know maybe overlay look at overlay did and then you can play with the opacity. If you want to pull the opacity down, just pull that down a bit. And then maybe go to the other layer. And again, play with, you know, a different blending mode. I, I'm just going to pick multiply because, again, this is very subjective. You could choose what you want. And again, I might just pull down the opacity of that to get a unique different look. So it's just these are optional. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, I do apologize for not emphasizing that you want to make sure that the image you're working on is an 8-bit image because, again, if it's 16-bit, this feature will not work. Again, the link will be in the show notes. If you missed that video, that's more in-depth. I did that a week ago, and uh, I'll try to put, uh, if I can learn how to do this, uh, a link here in the upper right-hand corner of this video that you can click on to go to that video. All right, guys, until next time, see ya.